Okay. A man six feet tall on the ground watches a bird flying horizontally at a speed of seven meters per second and at an altitude of 200 feet above the ground. What is the rate of change of the angle the man's line of sight with the bird makes with the horizontal when the bird is 300 feet from the man? Okay, so let's go ahead and draw this out. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back to blue here. So here's the ground. And I have a man who is, uh, they said he is six feet tall. And they said he's watching a bird flying horizontally. So the bird is, let's put the bird over here and he's flying at seven meters per second. So the bird is over here. And they tell me that his altitude is 200 feet off the ground. And we said that this guy is six feet tall. Okay. What is the rate of change of the angle, the man's line of sight with the bird? Well, the man's line of sight with the bird is this thing right here. There we go. What is the rate of change, the angle of the man's line of sight with the bird makes with the horizontal? Well, the horizontal is right here. The line of sight, the horizontal, this is the angle. We'll call that theta. When the bird is 300 feet from the man. Okay, so this distance is, I'm just gonna go ahead and call that Z. Okay. Well, let's see, I've got myself a little triangle here actually. And this, I'm going to go ahead and just, oh, this is a fixed distance. So this is going to be 200 feet minus the height of the man. So this height right here is going to be 194 feet. Well, um, you know what? Let me just stick with the variable that I used. So let's call this X. Okay. So here, I've got this triangle, and they want to know, so what they want to know is d theta dt. That's what they want. Uh, let's see, what rate do they actually give us? Uh, nope, I'm not going to call that. I'm going to leave that as z. What they, the rate that they give us is horizontally at a speed of seven meters per second. Therefore, this distance right here, we'll call that x. It's x because the bird is flying horizontally. He's flying this way. That means this distance between the man and directly below the bird, that changes at seven meters per second. So that's gonna be dx dt. So that's seven meters per second. So this is the rate that they give us. This is the rate that they want. Therefore, I need to find a relation between x and theta. Well, let's see. What relation exists between x and theta, this triangle with other information that I have? I know this height. So, actually, what I can do is I can write the following. I can write tan theta. I can use the tangent of theta is equal to 194 divided by x. That's a relationship between tan theta, I'm sorry, between theta and x. Two variables, perfect. So we have our relation. Let me go ahead and go to the next page here. So let's write our relation again. So we have the tangent of theta equals 194 over x. Now that we have a relation, we can go ahead and differentiate. So the derivative of tan theta is secant squared theta d theta dt. And the derivative of this is minus 194 over x squared dx dt. I solve for d theta dt because that's what I want. So d theta dt <clears throat> equals minus 194 divided by x squared secant squared theta times dx dt. 
Okay, well, I have the dx dt. We said that that was, yeah, so they gave us dx dt. They said that that was seven meters per second. Therefore, uh, this is going to be minus 194 times seven over x squared secant squared theta. Okay, so now we just need to find x squared. Let me go back to blue here. Actually, let me try black. We need to find what x is and we need to find what secant squared theta is so that we can plug it in and solve for that. So our questions now are, what is x? And what is theta? Rather, what is secant squared theta? Well, let's take care of the x first. Okay, so we had this triangle, remember? Here's our, this was 194. They said, and here was the man was right here and the bird was right here. And they said they wanted this rate. How fast is this theta changing when the bird is 300 feet away? So this is z, so I have a relationship. I have z squared equals x squared plus y squared. Well, z is 300 equals x squared plus 194 squared. So I can actually find this. So x squared is going to equal uh, 52,364, which means x is actually going to equal 228.8. So that takes care of x, that we can plug in here. Or better yet, we already have x squared, we can just plug that in there. Now, <clears throat> um, I want secant squared theta. Well, I finished my triangle, so this is 228.8. So here the secant of theta is equal to 300 over 228.8. 0.8. Therefore, the secant of theta equals 1.31. Perfect. Now I can go ahead and plug everything in. So I've got d theta dt is equal to uh, minus 194 times the 7, which was the dx dt. And then I'm going to divide that by x squared, so this is going to be the 228.8 squared uh, times secant squared theta, 1.31 squared. And then when I solve that, I end up with negative 0 0.015, and this is an angle, it is in radians per second. I hope that made sense. So um, again, there's a rate that you're given, a rate that you want. Identify those and then try to figure out some relationship between them. Once you have the relation between them, exclusively with those, whatever is given and whatever is asked for, then differentiate, rearrange the equation, and then use the other information that you have in order to fill in the rest. In this case, we needed the x and we needed the secant theta. So we found the x first, and then we found the secant theta, and then we plugged in and we solved. So thank you so much for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.